Okay, welcome to Never Enough Cruising. There's been some interest on Twitter this morning. Um, now about Chef asked a question last night about what setups people have for solar on their boats. Um, CC, which is Cruising and Cut, told um, now about Chef what he had. And it just so happens we have the same panels as he's got, but we've got a different bracket set up. We've never really shown it on our vlogs before so this morning we're going to do a quick vlog of a couple of minutes just to show you what the system's like and um, I'll tell you where I got it from it's up to you whether you use that company or not. Right so we have three solar panels of 240 watts per panel uh, and they are mounted on this system that we bought from uh, Midsummer Energy in Cambridge back in Christmas stroke New Year of 2017-2018 uh, which is when I fit the panels myself. Now they're, they're quite easy to fit. The, the panels themselves clamp to these rails by four brackets. Um, water does get into this channel but it drains out quite easily through there. We've never had a problem with them really. Um, these actual bars here were cut to size when we decided which panels we wanted. Um, and then whilst they were making up the kit for me, um, one of the chaps went and cut six of these rails all to the same length. They are then mounted by these angle brackets to these telescopic arms. Now, as you can see, that goes up quite a high angle. Obviously if you had wider panels of say 300 watts or, or more you may not get the same angle because they would protrude out but we wanted it so we could walk up and down the roof in the locks which has proved its worth in the last couple of weeks um, as we came down the Thames and the Grand Union. They simply do up to stay in place is it the same setup on the other end, Allen keys. I always keep my Allen key ready to go. I've connected them to the boat with these brackets which came with the kit. On each arm there are two bolts go down. I've drilled and tapped six mil um, to take those and then put Sikaflex down. I know I should have trimmed them up but I haven't. Um, I haven't had any leaks whatsoever. They are then, each panel, has its own set of wires coming down. I think that was to do with the um, voltage that was going into the MPPT that um, supplied with the kit. I know some people do it differently, they only have the one um, deck gland for the wires to go down in. These are quite robust, we've had them up in the winter in high winds. Um, if, it, if the wind is going to get up, especially in the winter when you need as much power as you can from them um, so I tilt them up towards where the sun's going to come up and adjust them throughout the day. If you lock all four bolts and these here even in a gale they stay up. They rattle a little bit obviously I mean you're going to get some noise but um, they, they stay in place. The triangular brackets which I was going to fit which come up to about here which I think CC's got on his um, allow you to tilt slightly but they don't allow you to get such a high angle. Um, Michael on um, Minimalist. Minimalist, sorry forgot the name there for a second. Getting old. Um, he built his own brackets and he has pins going through which uh, I think are a press release and then he, he's got them um, secured down so they can't be taken off easily. Uh, we haven't had any problems with people trying to remove these off the boat as yet, he says as this goes on to YouTube. Um, they are locked down pretty tight. I have got a locking system um, that I've got in my mind and I've got all the bits to do it but I've never had to, I've never had any problems so I've never fitted it. Um, I'm getting an extra over an extra 100 watts in the mornings by tilting them up at this angle and then as the sun comes over like it is now just 
drop them back down. Right, continue on. Um, the wires themselves come down around about here through the deck glands that are up, up on, the, on the roof. And the wires pass down inside the electrical boxes there, out the bottom, and then down to the MPPT, which is Electron MPPT 100 stroke 50. And that is connected via Bluetooth. If you follow that other black lead up past the extinguisher to that little dongle there, which allows me to read the batteries and the solar and do updates via Bluetooth from Vectron, uh, Victron um, on my phone or iPad or, or computer. All you've got to do is download the app and every time there's an update you don't have to get an engineer out like I did for my um, inverter, although that will change once I get the dongle, um, to do an update. It's simple to fit. There's a, another wire that comes out down to the batteries, which is fused. Um, I, I did all of it in the winter. I did it over two days, but because it was cold outside, I only did a couple of hours each day. So it doesn't take a long time to fit a solar system. If you're not confident, get an electrician in, like um, David did on cruising the cut. Um, obviously, that's additional. Uh, cost. At the time when we put this system in it was just under £1,500 and that was everything was supplied. The only thing that wasn't supplied was the bolts that connected to the deck itself and the Sikaflex. Everything that, all the cables, all the boxes, the dongle, panels and brackets all came in as one package and they are very easy to use. And if, if you can lock them down at any position, at any angle. I've even had them when the sun's coming up from the stern or the, or the um, bow. I've had them tilted the other way as well. In fact, I'll show you that in a second. I did, I think it was the tail end of last summer when we were on the Kennet and Avon. The sun was coming up or going down in front of us. What so I did was put this panel up as I could at the back, like this, lifted it at the front, it does go slightly higher than that, and then adjust the other two so there was no shadows uh, at an angle as well, which allowed me to catch just that little bit extra. Um, to, to get as much wattage as I could. And then when you want to drop down, you can loosen them off a bit more so it makes it easier than that. And then lock them in position when you, you've got them down again. Um, but they're, they're just high enough to go over the mushrooms. Um, so they're not interfering with that. And you don't have any problems going under tunnels or bridges. I hope you found that interesting. The, uh, as I say, the panels or the system we've got was from um, Midsummer Energy in Cambridge. I'm not connected with them in any way. It's just uh, a company that I went to at the time. They did me a good deal and um, we bought the whole system from them. I haven't seen these brackets anywhere else. There may be other suppliers out there, but I know these were made up by them. Hope you found it interesting. Never enough cruising.
And don't forget to like, comment and, and subscribe to our channel. If so, you'd like to. Yeah. So if you've got any comments about the system, Jonathan would be more than happy to talk it through with you. Thanks for watching.